Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Super Luigi Galaxy. Now that we've had a little bit of a look at the first world, and I, I call the domes worlds, basically, uh, and the first few galaxies and Honey Hive, let's head back in, and I guess I'll do loop to loop now, so I can get that out of the way. Because yay, motion controls. I mean, it's not that bad in this version, but also motion controls. That's all I need to say, is just motion controls. But anyway. Let's just do it now. That's a lot of star bits to get straight out of the way. Are you a surfer too? Uh, no, but okay. Is this the first time race surfing? Not quite. I had a little bit of a, a time recently where I was uh, falling off the edge and um, that happened. Also, I think I just started the the thing. Twist left. I started accelerating somehow. Crack that C, turn left. Just turn right, you just twist to the right. Like that. Yep, that's heat and right. Good job. You learned what your lefts and your rights. Hold B to speed up, and that's it. Let's go. Also, I can't get my cursor to appear. So I guess my cursor's just not gonna appear. I guess that's just how it is. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can motion control better than I did previously. Good luck. Oh, thanks. This is not as bad as loop de swoop Okay. This is so relaxing. Just need to turn the controller. Not too much, though. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness, you need to be a little bit careful which direction you're aiming when you go over a, a large jump area thing. Because it carries a lot over. Go. <gasps> Look, I got Race Surfing 101. One, one minute, one seconds, that is. We get a gold medal. I don't know what happens when you go too slow. Probably okay things. Well, at least I'm not in second or third place. You know? They could have made like, specific. Also, I, I, for some reason, I thought, like, ages ago that, um, you, there was actual races that you had to do in that kind of galaxy. So you could actually, you had to race actual ac other things, but no, you just have to race the time. Anyway, let's head back to Honey Hive. Since we have a little bit left to do there, I'm gonna take advantage of Spin Ground Pound. Trouble on the tower. But how much trouble on the tower? What's causing trouble? Also, I can press the Y buttons to make the the launch star spin before I've even entered the level and it's just the, the thing. Also, I, there's the M for um, Muigi. That's me. Or is it my clone? I'm not sure. Oh, there goes the thing. I need to remember where that was, but I couldn't remember. Anyway. Yahoo! Okay. Just gonna go straight to where I need to go. I could even just skip over the switch, but I probably shouldn't skip over the, skip over the switch. Okay. Man, I just don't have anything to say anymore. I don't know what happened. 
I had so much last time and now it's all gone. Oh, that's a, a very floaty backward somersault. Very floaty. Guess that's to be expected when Luigi is floatier overall. Grab everything single star bit in existence. Oh, there I go again. Wrong way. Wrong way. I'm holding the, the I'm holding down. And it's taking me down. But also up before I go down because of gravity being weird and changing all the time. Ow. Take that. And that. Okay, just uh, don't, no, no, no. I'm just gonna grab that coin and go down right now. There we go. Oh good, that does do work. I was worried for a second that ground pound spin wouldn't work. But nope, it does. Health grid of six, good. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's a thing. I don't know how I got into that position, but I did, and it's okay. I kind of feel like racing somebody at this now. I probably, oh, probably shouldn't. But you know, it, 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 it'd be very difficult to actually get that worked out for time. Because of time zones being a thing that exists. Anyway, let's take this quote unquote quote boss out. There we go. Luigi's just pretending to be a swan. Don't be fooled. There we go. We need one more star to get to uh, the Bowser level. Well, Bowser Jr. level, I guess. But let's go probably to the new level. Oh, Flip Switch Galaxy. That one's easy. I think we could also see it from a different galaxy before now. Which, uh, that's also cool. Like, it's not part of the the rest of the, the galaxy that we could see it in. But it is it's it's still there in this world for you to go to. Also tons of question the the brick blocks up in space, I guess. Excuse me, Mr. Platform. I know this is what you do, but I need to get under that. Oh, please, no. 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 Okay, there we go. Just dodge everything. Okay. And done. That should make this easy. The only thing I need, really need to worry about is the spikes and falling into a black hole. I'm glad I don't have to worry about falling into a black hole on a daily basis. But you know, I might. That should be enough to get to the Bowser level now. Uh, but I'm probably going to go back to Honey Hive and get that. Get a few more there. Is there only one more there? I think there's only one more left there. There's also the Hungry Luma I could do as well, probably, if I have enough star bits. We have discovered an enemy base. Let's hope they're not misusing that poor Grand Star. He's my cousin. But, you know, my, my brother, he's the power source of this flying machine, so, uh... I hope that my cousin's alright. Let's go to Honey Hive. I can't remember what the third one is. Is it? Hang on. My brain is booting up. Um... Big Bad... Bugadoom. Bugaboom. I keep doing that wrong. It's Bugaboom, not Bugadoom. 
Oh, I just need to get to the... the launch star, which is where the slide is on this part of the level. And then move on from there. Also, the music's slightly different at the moment. Because of the invasion. Take that. I think I can go this way, right? Ah! As long as I don't get caught on any of these things here. Even with Luigi's spin jump, he goes higher. Hello. The neighbors are causing trouble again. We, we would be most grateful for your assistance. Good, I'm glad I can offer offer my assistance. The, um, the totally legal one as well. I'll take care of your neighbors for you. I'll take care of them. You know? I'll take care of them. Oh, there we go. I'm here to take care of you, sir. By ground pounding on you a few times and then, um, taking the star that you just happen to have. Also need to be careful not to ground pound into the water that's there. It's very nice of the bosses to keep giving me star bits. They're so thoughtful. You know, until this happens to them. But they also give me a star, so... So I think that's all of the first world, except for the loomer outside, so I'm gonna go do that. Oh, I might... No, I've, I've probably got enough. I was, like, unsure last time, but I'm sure this time. I... I probably have just over enough, maybe? Or just... Please, please, please don't be wrong. They made a bunch of starlights, I'll pass the stack of happiness and then just form. Perhaps I need 400. Okay, that's a... that's all right. That's a fair bit. But I mean, I was doing it without even, like, putting too much effort into it. I was trying to get some star bits, but not, not, a, not a ton, not a ton. Let's go. Rocky Road in Sweet Sweet Galaxy. Just want to eat the entire galaxy. Is it made out of actual cake, or is it planet? What kind of- if it is made out of planet, what kind of planet is it made of? Like, is it rock, or is it dirt, or is it who knows what to get these colors? Ow. Oh, that was nearly bad, because it was gonna electrocute me so long that I just wasn't standing on a platform anymore. Okay, still good. Just, just going a little bit too fast in a little bit of this. But I'm also playing as Luigi, which means I'm slightly faster. Oh, oh my goodness. Kind of feels like I'm running at Mario's speed when I'm going against the, the flow of this planet. Oh, there I go. And I'm pretty sure there's no checkpoints in this level because it's very short. Nope, there is. It's a little bit, a little bit back. But that's okay. I can handle it. Okay, there we go. It's interesting that Mar the, the, the Luigi's faster than Mario in this game. Especially because of um, Super Mario 3D World and the uh, how each character has their own special ability, and Luigi's is um, 
higher jump, I believe. Which is kind of sad that that's his only ability, or extra ability in that game. And there's also Toad, who gets the speed from, I guess, Luigi. But, yeah. Mario's just all round. I mean, all around's good. I like to be all around. The terrace is in here. Don't you mean this is the terrace? Or, I don't know. But anyway, that's this, uh, this world done, so let's go and do Mega Leg, because Mega Leg is cool. I like Mega Leg. It's just such a cool, gigantic thing that I want to beat up. It has its own gravity and stuff. This is like the Mecha Bowser done right, basically. The Mecha Bowser doesn't feel anything anywhere near as good as this. Mega Leg is just too good. Let me get a bullet bill. Okay, here we go. Okay. Please launch that. Thank you. I can't get the star bits. There we go. Wow, you made it, but I won't let you get my- you don't- I don't need your dad- my- my- my dad? Your dad? I'm not sure. My dad's help to stop you. You can't get this power star. I put it into this machine for you to beat up. Which has a convenient flaw in this- the design that you can take advantage of. Let me see if I can actually do as well as I did the last time since the last- the- the previous attempt of this fight. On the last run went actually really well. I wasn't expecting to take out the, um, the cage and then the, the glass container so fast. I usually have a little bit more trouble, but I managed to get it pretty much straight away. Okay, let's see if I can do it now. This is gonna collide a few of these, maybe, or not. Cool. I thought that was that, that it was gonna collide, but they didn't. Okay, let me see if I can get one to follow me, and then maybe go over or just crash into another one. And you have to go down a little bit to actually get them. Oh, their cage is re respawning. There we go. It takes a little bit of time to respawn, but not a lot. So you have a little short time where you can just do it. Mega Leg is a little bit, a little bit quick, but it's cool. And that makes up for a lot of it. Star! I love the progression of this game. Also, I believe the music of the Combat Observatory changes depending on which how many sections are lit up, because there are three sections, kind of. There's the, uh, what's it called, this? The, fir the first section, the first two domes, with the Terrence, the Terrace, not Terrence, the Terrace and the Fountain, and then there's the bedroom and uh, the kitchen, which is the second area, with or second section, and the music changes when that starts up and, and the kitchen lights up. And then there's the engine room and the garden, which light up together, which is kind of the third section, and the music changes again. 
Also, hello, Toad, sending me mail. Mr. Luigi, check out. I'm a check it out. I'm a mail toad, and I have a letter for you. That's nice. Huh? It's addressed to Mario. Don't be upset, Luigi. Hang in there. Princess Peach included 20 one-up mushrooms in a letter. Would you like them now? Yes, please. Ah, even when she's kidnapped, the princess is so thoughtful. Yeah, she gave, gives me 20 one-ups from Mar the letter to Mario in this particular version. I mean, that's probably the coolest improvement. Like, the coolest difference between Super Mario Galaxy and Super Luigi Galaxy. That's amazing. Anyway. Let's have a look at what's available to us. I guess I'll do the Rolling Green Galaxy straight away. I think this is... I think there's a similar... Like, section of this level. In Super Mario Galaxy 2. Which has... Bob-Omb's on one of the platforms. And I thought there was going to be a comet for this this galaxy in this game, but there wasn't because it's it's a special level, and it does seem like all the special levels have only got one star in them, except for Buoy Base. Hey now, if you think you're about ro rolling that ball, you better listen to Billboard here. First, jump on top of the ball. All right, and now you want to match the guy at the bottom, and that's it. That's what we call the basic position. From that basic position, you can turn the ball. Also, I like the way that it tilts the star inside as well. Anyway, let's get this done. Obviously, I want to go at full speed because I just got 21 up, so I might as well waste a bit of life. Go down. Go, 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 go. I have to keep up the momentum. Also, it does kind of accelerate you when you jump, but also slows down as soon as you hit the ground. I'm going to go this way this time. I went the other way last time because I wanted to be safe. But, you know, safety is... Just, I got 21 ups, so wh whatever. Oh, that's the end of the level. <laughs> I thought it was a lot longer than that. Maybe it is... Maybe it's because I kept dying and rolling Gizmo Galaxy. So that makes that one feel longer and then... Yeah, going back to this one, it's just short. Yaha! It's a me, Luigi. <laughs> Why is Luigi so funny to me? I don't understand. Pretty much anything he says is just funny to me. Yes, I want to save my game. Okay, we've unlocked another galaxy, which is Battle Rock, but let's let's go to Space Junk. I like Space Junk. I like the background, I like the the calm music for it. It's very nice. Oh, this music is phenomenal. I mentioned at the very start of Super Mario Galaxy that this game's music is absolutely incredible. And I'm still gonna go with that. I didn't pay attention that much to the music in the previous playthrough in the last run, but, oh my goodness, it's so good. It's just so good. Please listen to it, just in your own time. I beg you, it's just that good. Are these single star bits from the, the, the Meteor Comet? No, Meteor, Star Bits. Oh, oh, oh. Falling, 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 falling. Also, I believe this song was in... Um... 
Super Mario 64 Land when I did that game, ROM hack thing. Fan game, kinda. I think it's the theme for the space world. Kind of, maybe? I might be wrong about that. It's been a while since I last did anything in that game. Ba 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 skipping toad. Ba 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 ba. That's probably out of sync, but that's that's fine. I'm enjoying myself. I'm gonna jump into the middle of nowhere and fall <gasps> to my death. I don't know how I made that work. I think Luigi's ledge grab is a little bit better. I don't think. Actually, I think Luigi doesn't have the same type of ledge grab as Mario, because Mario's ledge grab means that he he flips up it and then gets a little bit of extra height, but I think Luigi just jumps too high for that to work, and I think he just grabs, he, he like just walks straight onto the platform without the extra height given to him. It's interesting. Ooh, sliding after a cutscene. Probably don't want that to happen much. <laughs> I nearly slid off because of the cutscene starting up. That's fine, I didn't die, so I'm not gonna sue yet. Can you sue a game? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna find out if I slide off an edge during a cutscene. Oh wow, pranks to comment already. Guess that's not really surprising. There are quite a few. Especially when we got to the end of the game, there are a lot of... Most levels towards the end of the game just had two. Like one or two in every single level towards the end of the game. Oh my goodness. I just got stuck in mid-air on the, on the thing. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but you can actually... Oh, come on. You can actually um, lock on like, ground pound on NPCs as well, which means you can kind of time it just right to keep on bouncing forever, but you have to get it just right, and it's it's still fun, but if you do it wrong, you're just going to go flying all over the place. But anyway, enough of that, let's use the pool star, and let's do the speedy comet in Good Egg Galaxy. I was doing the the spin ground pound on Rosalina uh, during the downtime of Super Mario Galaxy at some point. I don't know when it was. Probably during the first 10 videos, maybe earlier than that. Also, I just remembered I'm doing a time thing. <laughs> I should probably get moving. Oh, please. Third bounce is high. It's probably not faster than just talking to the Luma because the Luma actually... I'm pretty sure the text will actually pause time. Which is a, a, a pretty pretty good skill for a, hung, or a Luma in general to have. But anyway, let's grab all of these star chips. And let's a go. Is it going to do the cutscene thing with this particular thing? I hope not. No, it does. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness, camera. Don't do this to me now. Hello. How you doing? Oh, I didn't mean to spin. That's okay. Oh, I'm on it already somehow. I don't know how that happened, but I'm I'm okay with it. Okay, up we go. Oh my goodness, that was such a high triple jump. That's amazing. Oh, 
Well, so it's called Good Egg Galaxy, but this is a, a bad egg. You know? You know what I mean? I mean, it's trying to kill me, so it must be a bad, bad egg. Okay. I just seem to be very good at remembering things wrong sometimes, because I also remember being able to collect, like, clocks in this particular, like, super, this, this particular version kind of thing. Probably, like, like, this, this, this game, not Mario Galaxy 2. But I remember being able to collect clocks so you could increase the amount of time you have, but it definitely, it just starts with the amount of time you have max. I don't know. Things that you don't realize when you're extremely young. But anyway, that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.